What's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. I've got another pod system today, and this is going to be one of those cases where you're kind of just going to have to take my word for how long I've been using this. I didn't start the review when I opened it like I normally do. I just opened it and started using it right away. Well, we're going on about day six now, and it's been... Like I was going to wipe this out, but maybe I'll just show you instead. It's honestly been uh, surprisingly good. Surprisingly, shockingly good. That liquid residue in there is the most I've seen in, in the six days I've been using this with regular refills. It's just going to wipe this out and get a, a clean starting point, you know? And this is all your pod is. Just this little round pyramid that you fill up on the bottom there's a little juice fill hole boop right there just hold it upside down fill it up there's no bubble dancing even in this when you fill it up look at me actively trying to avoid an uppy closey segment the coil head leaves plenty of space for the liquid to get to where it needs to get you can get all the bubbles out and fill this up like completely the coil heads like all coil head based pods are removable and there is a flat side so you just line up the flat side with the flat side press it straight down. There's actually two different little airflow options as well, depending on how you put your pod in. I'm using a 70% 12 milligram VG liquid from QP. It's delicious. This coil head has no problem wicking this high VG either. Now, as far as why it's called the Revolve, well, let me show you. I first thought this was kind of real gimmicky. I thought, man, that's gimmicky as hell but it actually turns out to be pretty very cool. First of all, your pod is small and it just kind of sits on top. It doesn't make it super very secure. There's a little bit of like wobble back and forth and occasionally when I've gone to like wipe the drip tip off or like wipe the mouthpiece off on my shirt, it kind of Oh, pops the pot out. So there's that. It's not super secure, but you can take this and you just give it a little push. You can feel the little click release. You spin this around and you'll feel another just little click right there and it's all covered and self-contained. You have a USB-C on the bottom for charging and this prevents any dust or crud or lint or whatever from getting in and around the part that you put in your mouth. Throw this in your pocket, worry-free. Backpack, purse, whatever. Worry-free, nothing's getting on your mouthpiece or drip tip. It's not a drip tip, it's just a mouthpiece. And you can do this all one-handed. You just give it a little push, spins it around, click it into place, you're good to vape now. There's two different airflow settings on it. I have it on the tight setting right now, but you can take this pot, spin it around, set it back down, and now you have ah a little bit more open of a mouth to lung. I certainly wouldn't call it a restricted lung. I would call it an open mouth to lung. Or it kind of can be a little nice restricted lung. Sort of lights up on the front there when you put your pod in as well. Let you know when it's seated, activated. I sometimes, not often, but sometimes will sit at my desk and literally just spin this. I like rotating it. I like how smooth it is. I like feeling the little clicks when you click it into place. Yeah, I'm smitten. I'm a little bit smitten with this pod system. Like I said, I've been using it for exactly six days as of right now, and I'm not going to end this party here. We're going to keep going. I'm going to keep using this. I'll be back in a few days, I guess, to hand out some full banana stickers for this little Revolve. 850 milliamp hour, three mil capacity? Shit, what's not to love? Two one ohm coil heads in there? No, oh, this is not staying as clean as it was. I you Look, this is why I do reviews. So look, I'm going to use this. I'm going to keep using this for a few more days. Like I said, I'll meet you back here for some banana stickers. Okay, bye. All right, we're here to wrap this up. It's been two full weeks, 14 full days of daily use. Not, you know, daily constant use, but daily, daily use. I've just been Damn it, the Revolve. I've just been really, really enjoying it. Everything I said previously still stands. There's one kind of newish thing that I've been noticing where you have this phantom liquid that just, 
It's always going to be in your pod. It's always just going to be there and you cannot vape it. It's pretty easy to see why the bottom of this is spread out over just such a big distance that yeah, you have a real thin layer of liquid down there that's just not ever going to reach your coil head. Filling it is hyper easy and it stayed relatively clean. I mean, it hasn't like leaked, leaked anywhere, but literally every time I go to fill it up, I find myself, you know, wiping the pod down, wiping the inside of the battery down. It's just always maybe a little bit of juice here and there. Mm. The vape from it is just real, real nice. And I can kind of feel this pod that I've been using for two weeks really getting like to its last legs. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not, because those were both real nice. 70 VG liquid has no problem wicking in this. I honestly, and this is the dumbest thing, it, it handles well. You know, people give me a hard time because I say things handle well. This just handles really well. It's just this little oval. And like I said, I find myself kind of clicking this around sometimes, just clicking it and clicking it. It's just kind of satisfying as a fidgety person having this to like spin and click around on my desk and then Oh, click it, Yeah, might as well vape it since it vapes too. I'm gonna end up giving this uh, a lot of banana stickers. It's a peculiar shape. That's that's kind of going against it. The top pod, uh, it's, it's super weak. That's kind of going against it. But it's not gonna go against it too much. We're doing one to 10 now here. 10 is the best, zero is the worst. I've never given a zero. The Revolve pod is going to sit Pretty confidently, I think, pretty confidently. It's not perfect, but oh man, I really like it and it's kind of close. Nine banana stickers for this Revolve Pod. I, I just really like it. This is a purely, purely a subjective nine. I, I just really like it. I like that it spins, I like fiddling it. I like that it has a little like lid for your mouthpiece. I like the capacity of it, even though you can't vape all the liquid out of there. And I've been having a fine, fine time with the battery. 850 Ma's been great. The problem is their website is down, so vape budget hands are not gonna be a thing. I can't imagine that this is gonna cost more than $50. Even between $40 and $50, I'd say maybe some vape budget hands. If it's under $40, that's not really vape budget hands there. I can't imagine this is going to break the bank. It looks like a cartoon pizza cutter. Here's the end of the video. I'm gonna put science down in the description because when it comes to the science of vaping, let's definitely listen to the scientists. I'll just tell you that no matter what's in your hand, you guys, absolutely, let's keep on vaping. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh gonna smoke so 